Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video. I just recorded this video, but I guess the audio did not work because I forgot to change the output of my mic settings, but it's okay. Uh, what we're talking about today is the new Esfrix Roman Evo mirror saddle. They just kind of quietly released it. Uh, today's date is the 22nd of September. It actually got released to the public, I think, yesterday. Um, but they literally said, I didn't see anything on their Instagram, nothing on Specialized.com. Um, I saw it. I, I, I knew about it for, you know, for a while. We had them on order, but um no real dates released for when they were coming out so what this means for you it's the roman evo it's the roman evo saddle that they have right now for yes works and the roman evo saddle is actually their lightest saddle they make uh it's lighter than the power it's lighter than everything else i don't know until i get this one in my hands i can wait but this is a mirror version of it and what the mirror is like their 3d printed version similar to their s works power mirror saddle that's been out for a long time um the saddle was the power is one of the most popular saddles out uh, it retails four hundred fifty dollars. I've seen this saddle go on eBay because of the fact that it was so hard to find out. I've seen my eBay for like six hundred, eight hundred dollars for these saddles. Um, very comfortable, uh, and I'll be honest with you. I'll talk about it in a little bit, but not gimmicky at all in terms of comfort and what they do, how they uh, work with your body, how they suit your body, and how they perform with your body. They're really nice saddles. I'll, I'll get into that in a second. But what this means is is that uh, we saw spy photos of Cavendish having it. On his bike and the tour, I think um, you see a lot of these pro riders uh, riding these riding these bikes in the tour. This is more of a traditional looking saddle. Uh, this is what Sagan used to ride back in the day, or I think he still rides a Roman Evo. Um, a little bit of a longer nose. They still have the wider cutout, but the Roman Evo is more of a contour saddle. It has more of a fall off on the ends of it where the sides are right here. Whereas the Power is more of a flat saddle. It just has a long, lengthy, flat side there, a short nose, um, but. I'm happy to see this, and hopefully, what I hope, hopefully, what happens is that they take this technology, and then they can take this like 3D printed mirror kind of, uh, I think they call it like polyurethane or whatever they're called, polyester or whatever. I'll go over the full materials, and apply this to a saddle that's not a carbon fiber body and not a carbon fiber rail, and maybe put it on a plastic body and titanium rails and make a comp version or a pro version similar to what Physique does, and make it more achievable for, um, you know more budgeted riders. People, I think, will love this technology. It's, 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 a, it's one of the most comfortable saddles out there in the world uh, until you get your, your butt on it, for sure. Um, they gave here on here as well the weights. So I'll just go over and show it. So it says, in a size 143, it weighs in 190 grams. Now, I got the Esrix Power Saddle in my store before, and I did a video where I actually weighed it. I think it was pretty spot on with what the weight was. Uh, I won't know until I get this saddle in my, in my hands, but um we'll figure out that now size 155 millimeter weight is 198 grams for the for the saddle so these are heavier than their s-works counterpart the mirror will obviously be a little bit heavier because it has the extra um the extra 22,000 struts 10,000 nodes uh extra liquid polymer perfectly reflected anatomy you know it, it's it has more material on there to accommodate that but what we always learned wider tires more comfortable better saddle, more comfortable. When you're comfortable on a bike, you're going to be able to produce more power. So that's always a benefit. If you're always moving on the seat, if you're always rocking, if you're looking for that comfortable spot, you're never going to be able to put out your max wattage. Whereas something like this, if you're able to sit in the saddle more comfortably and you focus on your pedal stroke, you'll be able to put out more watts. Uh, let's compare it to the Esrix Power Saddle, which I looked at this already. Oh, okay. And I have different. Size 143, weight. 190 grams size 155 the bigger saddle of the two 144 grams makes no sense i'm pretty sure that number is wrong but i'll weigh it once i get it as well but we can see here we developed the mirror technology 3d printing like the uh, complex honeycomb structure allows us to infinitely infinitely tune the materials density and the weight possible impossible with foam result patent pending of 14,000 struts and 7,799 nodes each which can be tuned individually whereas a new Roman Evo mirror, it's a longer saddle, so they're going to have more struts and more nodes, which I think is just the material of the saddle. But patented body geometry design is lab tested to ensure improved comfort and blood flow sensitive areas. That's going to be where that little cutout is usually. It's, it's firm where it needs to be on the padding where your sit bones make contact with, but in those channels where the blood flow is supposed to go, it's actually very comfortable. And, and this is where a lot of these 3D printed, printed saddles are. In these areas where it is a different you know, texture right here. These are gonna be your contact points of where your body's gonna make contact with your sit bones. Uh, you're gonna have some friction right here as well. They want these to be a little bit firmer because they want you to still get uh, accommodated by the padding. They don't want it just to sink directly in. 
these other areas will kind of be a little bit softer. But the benefit to that, think about it this way. Every single saddle out there that uses a dense foam, like their S-Works, their Comp, their Expert models, it's always a foam. Your sit bones, here's your saddle right here. Your sit bones sit on top of it. And as you start to ride, they, 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 they hurt, they callus over it, and then they get a little bit more uh, accommodated by it. Then they get pressed down more and pressed down more. And it takes a little bit longer for those sit bones to actually give you the right um, support. Whereas on this 3D printed saddle, it doesn't feel like you're sitting on top of the saddle. It feels like more like you're sitting in or on the saddle. Like it's, it's just, it goes around your sit bones. It, it supports you in the way you need to be supported. And it is a really nice saddle. As soon as you get on the bike, you can notice the difference. So it is very expensive. It's $150 more than their S-Work saddle. But uh, yeah, it's, it's nice. And also the Roman Evo, what's different between that and the Power, like I said before, the Power is a completely flat saddle on the back where your sit bones are. The, the Roman Evo is more of a contour saddle. So like the SMPs or the uh, the Power Arc saddle. More contour, maybe it's just the way your, your pelvic bone lies or your hip bones or whatever it is. They, they just lie a little bit better. Maybe you like that contour of a saddle a little bit better. Uh, it's a different anatomy for you. So not all saddles are going to be uh, feel great. Don't listen to anyone say, hey, I highly recommend, or not highly recommend. Uh, don't everyone say, this is the right saddle for you, correct saddle for you. Uh, everyone's different. We can only give our best to recommend stuff and give you a reference to go off of. And, and, and then you have to figure that yourself and get into it. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and then before I let you guys go, thank you for the 20 K subscribers. It's my first time showing my face. I don't know if I'll continue this format. I just figured I'd just show it off anyways. Um, someone said I have a face for radio, which was nice. Uh, <laughs> it really made me feel good about myself. And then, uh, I was like, man, fuck this guy, dude. He said I have a face for radio. Fuck you. Um, oh, a couple of my viewers and, and also customers notified me about four or five days ago that the Revolve Rapide handlebars in every single size, 38, 40, 42, and 44 became available on Specialized.com where you can literally add it to your cart and ship it to your house. Let's get this right here right quick. Oh, no. Uh. So, which was crazy because these sat, I haven't even seen these handlebars in the United States yet inside specialized stores. Um, they're first going to allocate, I feel like specialized is going to have to get these handlebars on their new S-Works bikes, their pro bikes, their expert model bikes. Uh, they're going to, they need to obviously build bikes first. So those, that's the first tier allocation. Second, we have a bunch on order and they're supposed to come, I think late August. Then they got pushed back. Then they got pushed back. But I've talked to multiple specialized stores who still said they have not seen them yet. Um, Maybe Specialized just got like a little batch. They put them on Specialized.com. Specialized.com are number one uh, competitor right now for Specialized retailers. But they made it to a point where all these 38, 40, 42, and 44, I had a bunch of Instagram users, um, viewers, friends say, hey, you see Specialized has their bars online. I was like, okay, yeah, try to order it. And uh, they ordered it. They got shipped to their house. So I think the 40 and 42 sold out with like in 30 minutes. The 38 and 44 stuck around for a little bit, but then they were finally all sold out. But absolutely uh, crazy. You know that that uh that I haven't seen them yet in person. I've seen them in, in in Europe. I've seen them in Australia. I think I've seen them in other places. You know, and I think the reason for that, my my main guess is because, like I said before, we're in the states. We have to wait for ships, cargo ships, to go across the channels and the ports, and then the, these ports are backed up. I think there's an article I read that I mentioned before. There's like 45, 46 cargo ships on these ports. They say it takes about seven days to unload these these ships with all these items as well. People are not working over here. Uh, so the ports are getting backed up, so then they, they can. It's just a whole mess. So I don't think I think that maybe they're already on the the water outside by the country, but I think it's just a really long delay to get everything inside here. So that's why I think you'll see it in the Europe countries sooner, is because of the fact that it's closer to these factories and these and these uh, these manufacturer sites, so they can just like fly them or drive them over there. They don't have to worry about the normal the normal carriers can drop them off as usual. But yeah, I thought that was crazy. So. If you guys are looking for this bar, your local deals will have them soon. I think we're projected to get them in by the middle of October if it doesn't get pushed back again. Or keep a look on specialheads.com. Just check every day if you really want it. I mean, if you want something that bad, just keep on checking. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, I have audio this time. Um, thank you to that guy who said I have a face for radio. It will never let me down. My wife started laughing when she said that, so thank you for that. Um, but S-Works Roman Evil, you're going to see a lot of pros riding the saddle. I'm sure Sagan, Cavendish, all these people out there. This saddle, no joke, if you have the money, you can find it for retail and you're complaining about comfort because everyone knows saddle is the worst thing. If you're uncomfortable on the bike, it's not enjoyable. If you're complaining about comfort, invest in this. Screw the OSPW, screw 
carbon bars, get a nice saddle that works for you. And I'm telling you, it'll make the ride way more enjoyable. Coming up in the future, I have the Absolute Black Holotech cage. I did a review of stock cage versus the normal cage. It is noticeably quieter. I don't even sell Absolute Black direct to consumers. I don't, I don't get a discount code. I don't get a kickback. They sent me out one for free, yes. Um, I, it doesn't do the ceramic speed thing where you, where you r let it run and, and it spins by itself. It doesn't do that because there is a little bit of friction there. I did a comparison video between the normal one. But it is night and day quieter between the stock cage and the OSPW of that, that Holotech cage. And it's crazy. Uh, stay tuned to that video because it's, it's awesome. I mean, I was, I was blown away by the, and it shifts like a, like a, like a beast too. So stay tuned to that, but thank you guys. I'll see you guys next video.